Hello everyone. In this video, you are going to learn modify toolbar from AutoCAD. So first command from modify toolbar is erase. Suppose any entity, if you want to erase it, then you can use the erase button. Let us consider this one and one more this one. Suppose if you want to erase any entity from this drawing, then you can use the erase button, erase radio button, select that entity and press enter so that entity will be erased suppose if you want to erase the circle then select the circle and erase second command is copy command suppose this is the circle and if you want to copy this small circle on the periphery of this circle then you can use the copy command go to the copy command select the small circle enter select the base point any base point you can take let us consider this is a center point as a base point and then you can copy anywhere on the periphery of the circle you can copy at the center also so you can copy uh, such a small entities or maybe you can copy this total entity select the copy button select the base point you can take base point anywhere and you can copy this object number of times escape button so you can use the control J to redo undo and then next command is mirror suppose if I draw something like this and if I want to mirror this object this entity on a other side so you can go to this mirror button you can select the one one object or maybe you can directly select like this and press enter once you press the enter specify the first mirror line we have to define the mirror line the first point of the mirror line and this one is the second point of the mirror line then it will ask erase source object this source object if you want to erase you can press yes and if it is no then press N enter so that mirror will be generated on the other side next command is next command is this array so in the array you will find two types of array one is a rectangular array and polar array first of all we will learn about the rectangular array suppose this is a small entity and if you want to do the rectangular array then you can select the rectangular array and you have to give the number of rows you can see here this type of structure will be uh, generated suppose number of rows are 4 and I will uh, press here number of columns is equal to 3 here you have to give the uh, row offset distance 25u and column offset 25u I will keep as it is and then uh, you can just uh, select the object this one enter and then um, you if you want to uh, preview it you can preview it or you can directly say okay this is a rectangular array and suppose if I want to uh, do the polar array so you can do the polar array like this let us consider uh, this one and if I take this as an entity for the polar array and if I take the small uh, curve here like this and also I can mirror here I can mirror the same entity and I will join this and it is source object no enter and then if I want to make a mirror of the same so I can select this one and I, I can go through this mirror or you can select from this object like this enter then select the polar array select the polar center then angle to be filled is a 360 and then this number of atoms I will put 8 throughout the circle means 360 suppose if you want to um, copy this entity up to the half circle then you can put the 180 here also and say ok so likewise structure you can prepare by this array the next one is move command 
suppose if you want to move any object let us consider this move and if i want to move this total object so you can select this object press enter select the base point you can select base any base point from this diagram and you can move your object anywhere suppose if you want to move only this small object press enter select base point anywhere and you can move this so it is similar to the copy command only thing is that in the copy uh, in the move that object will be moved not copied the next command is rotate command let us consider this uh, diagram and if you want to rotate this entity so you can go to the rotate select the object press enter specify base point this is my you can specify base point and if you can rotate it but uh, you have to give the angle suppose if i give the angle 45 so it will rotate any direction suppose if you want to control the direction then you have to give the reference let us consider this rot uh, rotate command again this one press enter specify base point this one then you have to type it here r r enter so the r for reference and then select the first reference point and second reference point so that edge would be the reference and then you can give the 45 angle so that it measures the angle from the first quadrant and uh, it will uh, rotate according to that suppose if you want to rotate in a uh, another direction so you can give the minus sign that is minus 45 so that would be rotated in a uh, uh, opposite direction so this is what the rotate command next command is this trim command so if you want to trim any object so i will show you here suppose this type of object is there and if you make a mirror of the same so go to this one and select the object enter then center point is this one this is array and this is what we have prepared after this what we can do we can take the this trim command and you can trim the objects like this or maybe you can trim like this in the trim option look at here first you have to take the trim option just right click here and then use where you require to trim so likewise you can trim the objects same with next that is extend command so you can take this one and you can extend the lines just take the extend right click this one and this one suppose if you want to extend on this side you can extend this side click on this side so this would be the extend command now next command is chamfer and fillet suppose if i take a this rectangle and if i want to chamfer and fillet the corner then i can go to this fillet you have to set radius here r enter then for the uh, you have to put the for the radius you have to put the values let us consider radius equal to 15 then enter and select the first edge and second edge that would be filleted now again you can take the fillet and you can fillet the another edge suppose if you want to make a chamfer any one of the corners so you can take the chamfer and once again i will go through this chamfer and you have to set the distance so first distance you have d enter first distance i will set the 10 so it will measure from this corner to this corner uh, this line and enter uh, specify second distance i will specify same and then you can select first line second line again you can chamfer this side first line second line once you set the distance and radius for chamfer and fillet so that would be continue for uh, next 
command then you can use the break break at a point and join let us consider this break break at a point select the break and uh, i will show you with by line so that would be more suppose this is a line i will make ortho on so you will get the straight line and if i want to break it at a point so you can use the break select the object and specify break point so you have to specify where it is required to divide i will take a center point so that line is divided into two parts now uh, i will use break break command select the object so it will take first point where you select the object and second point would be where you can define so that would be the break suppose if you want to join it then you can use the join command here join select the first line second line and enter so that line would be joined so this is what we have learned break break at a point and join the last command from this uh, modify toolbar is explode suppose uh, if i draw one rectangle this is a single entity suppose if you want to separate all edges then you can use the explode button so explode radio button and select the that particular entity and press enter so each side would be different so this is what the explode command so here with we have ended with this modify toolbar thank you